think. And what's the first word? Lamp. Okay. Lamp. 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 Yes. Lamp. 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 Yes, exactly. Lamp. Right. So you know, I, la, 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 la. Yes. If you, um, <laughs> you know, I, I think we hit on. I already told. I told you that I I work with a speech therapist, and I told her that that's how yeah. we learn because she was telling me something else, which we had already done, which is to break the sounds up. Yeah. And then I told her about this exercise, and she said, "Oh, that's a great idea. I think I'm going to use that." <laughs> so. Yeah, no, this, that, that is an excellent exercise for you, by the way. So if you get stuck on an R, you know, between the, the L and the R and the N, and you're, 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 you sometimes do confuse the L with the N because your tongue, remember, on the N completely blocks the air, and then the N comes through your nose instead of through your, the L through your mouth. So just that la, 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 la will definitely help you. Uh, yeah. so, so let's start again from the first word. Lamp, ramp, later read, uh, read, left, left, lean, wrist, line, nine, line, nine, nine. Okay. We're, getting, we're coming back to the nine. Nine. La, nine. la la line. Na na nine. You're saying na na. You're blocking completely. Nine. 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 Line. That's it. You got it. Line. Yes. Now, do you nine. Feel, yeah. You have to feel your mouth, and, and the more you say it, the more you'll start to recognize that feeling. When you say nine, for example, the sides of your tongue are also touching your teeth back in your molars, right? You don't want your tongue to be blocking the air. That's why your tongue becomes almost a, not a tube curled, but a, a, like instead of like, not like that, right? Not like, that's wrong, like that. And, and you're just touching the top of your, behind your teeth. That's, that's how you make a line, if, if not, you know, maybe a little bit flatter, but that's, I mean, that's an exaggerated view, but that's what happens. Never curl your tongue. It just needs to come out you know, flatter towards the top. Okay, so that's a line. So let's go through that line again. Nine. Nope. Oh. Nine. Oh. Line. Uh, nine. Nine. So you have to go uh, uh, line. Yeah. Line. Exactly. Go from that L sound that you're making right into the I. Line. Yes. Nine. I, I feel it. You feel it. You keep feeling it. Keep line. Saying. Yes. Line. Keep. Line. Say it again. Nine. You're getting it right now. This is beautiful. Nine. Nope. Now nine. you went back to nine. You went back to nine. L, L, line. Nine. Oh, you're saying nine because you're blocking it. Ooh. Nine. You're saying nine. Mm, 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 mm. If, you were to, mm, if you were to close mm. nose, if you were to if you were to close the sound from and prevent it from coming through your nose, you would feel that you're making that sound through your nose, right? Because that's a nine, nine, nine. nine. Right? Okay. But if you're saying line, you won't hear the difference because it's line. Line, right? The L doesn't come through your nose, the N does. And that's where. So let's try that line one more time. Line. L line. L line. Yes, very good. Very good. Try it again. Line. Yes. L now, line. You're, now you're, it's beautiful. It, I can see your mouth. You're pronouncing it correctly. Just practice it. We'll do a little bit more. Line. Yes. Line. Yes. Okay. Now let's Line. try. Now let's try to confuse you a little bit and go to the next word. Read. Rind. Uh, rind. Now say the two words. 
nine. Line. Nine. Nine. Uh, go back. Nine. Nine. Feel, feel the word. Nine. Nine. La 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 la. Right. La 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 la. Yeah. Line. Nine. Yes. Well, you went back. Right. To go back to line. You're having difficulty with the L and the yeah. I. So yeah. La 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 line. La 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 nine. Nope. You went back to nine. You closed it off. La la line. La 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 nine. Nope, you went nine. back to nine. You're going back to nine. You're closing it off. Nine. Nine. Okay. Let's nine. Let's move on and then we're coming back to it though. Yes. Feel that line. Right? Mm -mm. You when yes. you feel that line, you won't feel the nine. You see how nine is coming through my yeah. mouth? You want a line, because I could say lie without it coming through my nose. But I can't say I without it coming through my nose, right? Yes. Okay. So um, let's see, what's the last two? Mm -mm. List, wrist. You see how you have no problem whatsoever with the L sound? List, yeah, wrist. Yes. Just yeah. a. L and I. Yes, right, and, and and that's because of the that that glide into the into that I sound, right? It's the lie because your tongue is already up there, and you're gonna have to say the I, which is an open mouth sound. You're blocking that whole sound with your complete tongue rather than just the tip, and that's why we do the exercise la 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 line. Right, because the la 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 is forcing you to open your mouth for the I sound, right? So let's yes. just try it one more time. La 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 line. Yes, beautiful. That was good. <laughs> you got it. You yeah, I feel that's, it. <laughs> that's what the practice is. It's la la. I, I would just walk around all day, happy and and you know, <laughs> day. It's so sunny. La la la. la, <laughs> la, la, la. Right. <laughs> and and you'll and you'll get so used to it. You'll feel it. Yes. So let's try that next set, which is um, there is no. Well, there is one here. So yeah, this is this may be. I'm not sure. I don't think you had trouble with this one. But it's a sound that uh, is very similar. So let's try these. This set. I didn't post it. Let me post it now. Go ahead. Oh. Long, wrong, lot, rot, low, raw, lay. Yes, very good. Ray, land, ran. You see, you had no problem at all with any of those sounds. Um, let's just let's keep going. Feel the yes. L, feel that um, feel the L though when you're saying it. I you know because you're saying it correctly. I just want to make sure that you continue to say it correctly. So let's go through this one. You yep okay. You're gonna have fun with this one. Okay, go through it. Leader or leader? Lead. Leader. Lee. Uh, Lee Reed. Okay. Lee Reed. Leader Reed. Night. Night. Okay, you see there's Lead. that there's that L I night. sound, right? Light. Night. Night. Yes. Night. Okay, try it again. Light. Night. Night. You said night. Light. Hold on. Uh -huh. Night. Uh, nine night. Yeah, those are two. Those are two different words, right? You have light and you have night. One is the L and one is the N. One is coming through your mouth and one is coming through your nose. Yeah. Light. Night. Oh, you said night. You said night. Light. Night. No, you said night. 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 Remember the night. sound from la 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 light, right? Yeah, I know L is the uh, the words from here, and N is from the nose. Correct, but you're still be it's it's not just that it's coming through the nose, but it's the reason it comes through your nose is because the tongue, instead of being like this, mm -mm. right? Yeah, it's you have it blocking. 
completely your mouth. So that's why it comes out as a, you've blocked any air from coming through and you've forced it to come out through your nasal passage, which is an N, right? It's correctly pronouncing the N, but what we're trying to get is to the L. So we don't want to block the sound. We want to allow it to come out through the sides of your tongue. Oh. Light. Yes. Light. 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 See? It's coming out through the side of your tongue. So that's the L. The N, the sides of Light. your tongue. Yes. Come Light. On. Yes. You block it completely. Light. So, Light. Light. Yes. So let's try let's try that combination again. Light and night. 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 You said light. You said night. Try light. Light. Yes. Night. You see how you're getting more and more used to it? Because before you could not do this. You could not do this. So what you want, Light. yes, is to continue to allow that sound to come out the side of your tongue, both sides, versus an N where you block it completely. Right. Yeah. And that's how, that's how you get to where you are. This is very difficult because you do have difficulty on that L and I, <clears throat> but you have no difficulty on any other sound similar to that, right? So that's, yeah. that's what needs to be worked on. Okay, could you, let me just hold on one second. I'm gonna have, yes. to, I'm gonna have to put you on mute. Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> so, uh, let's see. Okay, so we, we got stuck at light and night. So let's start from light and proceed through the end. Ready? Go. Night, night. Oh, oh, you went back to night. You got to be... Light, light, yes. night. Right, right. So if you st I'm telling you, when you're focused on this, you, you come out perfectly. So that's the idea is to stay. When you get to a word like this, it's like, okay, I'm going to stop, I'm going to focus, and I'm going to pronounce correctly until it becomes natural. Okay? Yeah. So we're coming back to this, So, but not right now. We're going to practice other things to get you more comfortable again. So now what we want to do is get used to those same sounds in the middle of words, right? So I don't think you had any issue with these, this type of pronunciation until we get further in, but you'll, you'll be okay here too. So let's go through this set. Go ahead. Black, red, blue, blue, clean, green, clean, green, free, free, clean, green. You know what's funny is that flea and free, I thought you would A have flea, to, green, uh, You got green. it right. You got them perfectly correct. I thought you would have difficulty because those are difficult. That's a difficult uh, combination, the F and the L. And you had no no difficulty whatsoever. Yet most people have. That's where they run into a problem. So that's that's a that's a big step forward. So that's a good thing. Let's let's let's. Um, I want to. Where is that word? Oh, I see where it is. Okay. So let's go through these. I think I have problem is the a and a. A and, a and A. a, a, and a. Bl bled and breed. Um, Not really. Between, which one? Between bled and bread? Bled and um, bread. Bread. Breed. Bread. It, it, the the R-E-A-D is bread. In that. Yeah. It's right. So, you know, English is one of those languages where the way it's spelled isn't always the way it's pronounced. So that adds to the difficulty. 
Um, so you, you kind of just have to know that. And, and of course, when you read it, how would you know that unless somebody tells you, right? But bread is one of those words where it's really, you know, if you take out the B, the way to read that is read, right? But when you add the B, it becomes bread. But the only way you would know that is if I tell you that. So um, it's not that you're mispronouncing it. It's that you just, oh, okay. you know, you're reading it the way it's spelled. So you're fine there. Uh, but uh, here's where I believe we're going to get a little bit more stumped. Uh, is that the right one? No. Let me delete that. Hold on a minute. Because that's not the one I wanted to copy. This is what I want to copy. Okay, so let's let's do these. Um, okay, so start from gloop. Oh, gloop, gloop, glow, 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 glow. Plot, plot, clear, clear, cloud, cried. Crowd, Play? crowd, crying, crowd. Crying. No, it's crying. cloud and crowd. Cloud, crowd. Yeah, right. It's pronounced like cloud except with an L. So you're okay there. We're gonna go over those diphthongs. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's in Flame, a... ring. Yes, right. right. And the last one. Uh, fling, fling. And the next one. Flay. Flame, frame. Okay, you don't see the last one. The next one, frame. No, okay. Let me let me post it again so that you can see it. Uh, let's just do this one. Glow is right. Glow. No, you had them all right, but try this one. The one I. Ah, uh, fly, fry. You see, you know, you had no problem here. And that's an L-I. You had no problem there, right? Isn't that, so, isn't that something? You went fly and fry exactly the way it needs to be pronounced. You had no mispronunciation there. So try that one more time. Fly, fry. Now, I want, did you feel that L-I sound? Fly. You, yeah, you yeah. did it perfectly. Now, if we were to go to... Uh, Just there's a two or the nine. Nine. <laughs> nine, nine, nine. Yeah, if we were to go here uh, and torture you a little bit, we would come over here and say, well, let's try that one. Night, night. Nope, you said night. Night, night. Light, night, light on the sides night. of the mouth. Yes, yes. You see? When you're focused on it, you're getting it right. So it's light. The sound is coming through the side of your tongue. Light, right? Mm. If I were to block that, I would come into an end because the air couldn't get through. So, okay. So I'm gonna have to mute and and kill the video. And I'm back. Yes. So you felt it, right? You felt. Yes. But when I when I when I say you, I know that you can feel your tongue. There's no question. Yeah. As I can see that you even recognize when you're saying it wrong, or incorrectly. But what I want you to also feel is that on the L, right? That sound is actually coming from your throat through the side of your mouth, not necessarily from the throat blocked and through your nose, right? You can actually yeah. feel that sound working its way through your, through your mouth on the sides of your tongue. And that's really important. But most important, of course, is your tongue placement, right? So when you practice, again, we're going back to the same thing. How are we going to practice the L-I? L, L, R, R, 
Well, it's the la 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 la, right? Uh, yeah. Get that yeah, gets that, that, used to that l l sound. La 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 light. Light. Yeah, you see how you. La 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 light. Yeah, now it's all. It's really starting to become very natural for you. So, and that's practice, right? And you, it's it's nothing else than practice because you can make the sound. It's just you need to be used to making the sound. So let's let's continue. Yeah. And let's start putting these into word, into sentences. I'm gonna pass, well, I won't pass by because I see some here that I do want to try. So let's try some R sounds, okay? Mm -hmm. In sentences. So go ahead, do all three. Uh. But do me a favor and say them to me as if you were speaking to me. So, Sonny. Yes. Uh, hold on a minute. Let me change this up a little because I don't like the way this is all spelled. So I'm going to change this and repost it. When I when I write this stuff, sometimes I write it as if I were reading uh, writing a textbook. I don't <laughs> to do that. I want this to be pronounced this way because I want you to start speaking more connected speech. So okay. you see the difference here. It's Sunny. Don't cry. Mother, you are a star. Tie the rope around the bar, right? Read it as if you were speaking to me. Don't, not, don't cry. Mother, you are a star. Touch the rope around the bar. You see? You see how you pronounce that so perfectly? Those words flowed right into one another versus don't cry. And don't uh, cry. Right, that's, that's not the way we speak, right? It's don't cry. It's almost like you're saying one word, don't cry. Um, mm -mm. Mother, when you see a comma, of course, there's a pause, right? Mother, you're a star, right? Uh, you're a rope. star. Yeah, you're a star. Uh, tie the rope around the bar, right? It's, it's tie like, the rope around the bar. So say that last one, go ahead. Tie the rope around the bar. Yeah, you see how you, I don't know if you've heard it, but when you see the video, you'll see how your voice went, tie the rope around the bar. Uh, that's exactly the way to say it. Let, um, let's go to, let's go to the L's though, okay? Yeah, this place, the er, usually the uh, ma, you are, you are a star. The er should be not, should be faster to speak is right. But most times, yeah. I think uh, I will be stop here and uh, stop. <laughs> I don't think so. I think you're pronouncing your R's very well, you know. Uh, but if you feel that you need to stop, then do it. But you said it. You, let's go through those three again. I didn't hear any hesitancy on your part. I heard. I heard you say it the right way. So, mother, you are stop. Uh, what because was... because this thing, this sentence is so short. So when I pronounce the uh, I or uh, that I can fast, but if so, no, I will be stop at R. Uh, uh. <laughs> right, that's that's why you practice, right? So the more you practice, the more you get comfortable with it, and you are yeah, I, because I have. I think, uh, yeah, I know. I think it's about about the control the breath. Breath, breath, breath. It, yeah. Of course. Well, everybody runs out of breath, right? But <laughs> the, the idea is to, to be comfortable, and you are. I could see it. I mean, there's no way on earth, if you looked at what, if you, when you look at this video later on, and you mm -hmm. see the way that you've read, don't cry. And mother, <laughs> you're a star, right? That yes. Flowed. It was really nice. Now, compare that to the first video. It, there's no comparison, right? Mm -hmm. You're getting used to it. The more you practice, mm -hmm. the more you get used to it. So let's let's try the L words. But I, I have to tell you, you're you're saying, and I'm glad that you're recognizing some of these things on your own. But but believe me, you're pronouncing your R's very well, very well. Thank you, thank you. And the tie the tie, tie the rope is uh -huh. is right there. Yeah, tie the rope. The, yeah, no. tie the rope. We're gonna do the, the R. Rope. We're gonna do that TH yeah. sound right after this. But you're doing okay. it right right now, so I think we're fine there. Uh, but we're, yes. we're gonna be doing that. I'm really, I'm just, 
really focus on these R's, L's, and N's because that's where you've had most of the difficulty. So let's, let's try these. These are L sounds, and I'd like to hear you just read these. Okay. I like to learn languages. Lisa loves Larry a lot. That's a long block about learning. That's, okay. that's a long block about the learning. Very good. Now here's about what? I'm sorry, what was that last word? Learning. Uh, that's yeah. that's yeah. a long block about learning. Yes, learning. Very good. And you learning. pronounced it, you pronounced it conversationally, which is nice, learning rather than learning, right? That's yeah. that's good for practice, but that's not conversational. The way you pronounce it is conversationally. Now, here is the the thing that is is confounding me. That first sentence, I, I have it in there, and and for you, I expected you to have difficulty with that first one, and yet you didn't. So try it, try that sentence. I want to hear you say it again. I like to learn language. Now, do you see what's in there? Like. 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 So, like. Yes. You see how you're pronouncing it perfectly now, and that's that li sound. I like to learn yes. language. Like even at the beginning of this session, what were you saying? You were saying, I like to learn languages. You're saying it right now. That's mm. practice. Keep that up. You're doing great. Um, and, and stay focused on that sound because that is the sound um, that you've had a little difficulty with. But I think you've, you're getting to the point where it's almost... Mm -mm. That is why that sentence... And that's why I wanted to go through that one. Let me... I think, I think it's because Nike, Nike uh, I pronounce a little slow. That's will be named like Nike. Is right. Well, now you see on the single words, and this is why I yeah. say connected speech makes you mm -hmm. pronounce the words better. But in the, yes. just now you said Nike. Nike. Instead, now you said like because you were focused on it. But before you yeah. said Nike, just, just to, before you said that, you said Nike. So it's Nike. the single words that are giving you difficulty. So that's, that's what I'm starting to yeah. pick up on. But when you put them in a sentence, right? When you put them in and you're yeah. connecting those words, you know, they're coming out perfectly. So it's I like, right? Yeah. One yes. more time. I like to learn. I like, I like to learn languages. Yeah. You see how you're, you're, it's perfectly formed, perfectly sounded. It's when you say them individually that you have more difficulty. So in connected speech or conversational speech, yes. uh, I would expect from now on for you to, you know, st certainly focus on it. But I, I think you're going to be pronouncing this correctly now. I think that we've we've got we've solved that issue. I think if not solved, maybe a strong word, but we've corrected it to to a large degree. So let's um, let's go to one that has R's and L's. But I, I'm looking for here. Yes, okay. So let's just do this one sentence and tell me what, what it. Just read it to me. As if you were talking to me. It's a hard sentence, by the way. Clubbing crimes are what's this word? Lures, lures. Lure, lures. Lures, yeah. Lures, right? Yes. Lures. Okay. Clubbing crimes are lures for cried client. Clients. Clowns. Clowns. Yeah, we're going to go over the, the those diphthongs later on, but you had no problem with that climbing, which was a C an N L I sound, right? So uh, you have just you're you've progressed so much from last session because of the practice, because of the reputation uh, repetition. Um, I, I before we leave this section, what I do want to do, of course, because why would I leave right now is I want to go back to our friends light and light can you can you read that for me 
Light night. Now, did you know that? Light night. Night. Light and night. 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 Light. Night. Right. So it's light and night. Those are the. Night. That, if I were you, I would get to the the spots on the video that have that combination because you're saying it right now and watch yourself. You're saying it the right way now. So let's just keep practicing that and get used to that L with the I sound. That's the only one at this point on the L's that's giving you difficulty. Now yes. I threw this section in because I wanted you to feel the difference between the L but I wanted you to feel it. Whoops, uh-oh, that wasn't a good thing for me to do, okay. So I wanted you to feel the difference between the L and the N. And now these are gonna be N sounds, so focus on the N sounds. Nem, me, no, non, lot, not, nine, not, lot, not, not. Not. In this case, it's a not. Net. Yes. Not. Not. Nine. Yeah. Not. Yeah. Not nine. Ten. Wing. Tiny. Running. Yes. So try the no and the none again. No. Not. Okay. So you see those two words? Those two words, you're getting them, they're perfectly pronounced, but those two are going to give you the most feel for what an N sounds like. You say them perfectly, but when you say that, you'll feel the N, which is almost vibrating up here in your nose. It's, mm, you can feel it. If you say it long enough, it's uncomfortable, actually. Mm, yes. mm, it gets uncomfortable. That's an N. If you if you're if I'm saying n right mm, and then I open up the sides of my mm. mouth yes exactly what you just did that's that's you feeling the difference between the two sounds right yeah so let's now that you you know that feeling let's, let's just read well here you go you like this one and here we go. If you could read that, please. You've no need to night a uh, night night. Okay, every one of those L's you pronounced as an L, as an N. So try it. Focus on that L. That's why this sentence is so difficult, right? Yeah. <laughs> Do we? Of course. Whatever you need. You, you no need to night a night night. You said all of them again as an N. So let's, let's try that again slowly. Now, just go up to the first light, okay? So you've no need to light. No need to night. You've no night. need to light. No need to night. No, uh, no need to night. No need to la 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 light. No need to na 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 light. You, you, now you're saying na. Nah. La. Yeah. Remember the movie? Night. A uh, light. Light. See, you said it right there. So you no need to la 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 light. A night la 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 light. No need to night. You said no need to night. La 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 light. La 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 light. La 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 light. Yes, you see? So it's that L sound, right? You have to get used to it. You, you, you're, you're on your way. That's just tons of repetition. La, la, and just keep saying it over and over. La, 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 light. La, 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 light. Yes, exactly, exactly. That was perfect pronunciation. La, 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 light. So when you watch the video, focus in on that, because you're, you're there, you're there. You're, you're absolutely there. It's a matter of repetition. And it being, you're not even conscious about it from now on. All right, so let's do, let's do this one. Now, this is also difficult. Now, I mean, you know, I know that they're difficult, but that's why they're here. So that you have to really help it. You know. Okay, let me see. Oh, 
Yeah. And uh, tonight is a night. That's a night. Try it again because you pronounced it night. That last word is a light. Light. La, 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 light. And the tonight is a night. That's a, la, 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 light. Very good. Very good. Now, don't forget, okay, because we can't forget the stuff that we've learned. Um, so we don't want to add an extra sound to a word, right? So it's... Yes. And tonight, no, uh, not tonight, uh, it's tonight is a night tonight. that's light. Night. Okay. And the tonight is a night that's a night. Okay. Let's focus it's on light. that. A light. Night. Light. Night. Nope, you went back to changed it. Na 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 night. La 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 light. La 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 light. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So that's how you need to practice that until you, it just comes yes. perfectly. So I'm not going to torture you anymore with those L I sounds. Okay, <laughs> but uh, don't forget that's you, that's the the that's the only thing that you're having difficulty with right now. Yeah. Because we haven't gotten to some of these other sounds that I know that you're uncomfortable with. It's because we haven't gotten to them yet, but they're more simple to, to correct than this li sound for you. Uh, yeah. So I'm not I'm not really that worried about that. Um, so let's let's just keep going and don't forget to practice that l sound, right? Yes. So we've been working on connected sound, right? And you know what that is. So yes. here is here is just these first. You know what? Let's do them all because um, I like I like to go through them all um, it, because it just reminds you a little bit more that when we speak, this is how we speak. Um, okay. Uh, let me just send them to you. So let's just uh. I'll uh, you know here's how it's spelled: change it right, and here's how you pronounce it: change it right. It's like yeah that last syllable moves over to the next word when we connect the words. It's like chain, it, we wouldn't say, you know, my tire is flat, I need to change it. No, yeah. my tire is flat, I need to change it, right? So you, you try the second word of each combination, not the first. Okay, uh, get, get out. Very good. Made, made of. Yes. Made of, dig up, dig up. Yep. Yes. Bet, bet you. Right. So instead of saying, I bet you, <coughs> excuse me, I bet you, you say, I bet you. Bet you, I bet you. One, wonder. Go, go on, go on. Mm -hmm. So no, so, so no. Yep. Did it. D do it. Do it. Oh, do it. Yes. Okay. Now, did you see how that's that's completely different, right? We're not going to say yes. do it. We're going to say do it. We're going to add a dog. Do it. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So go ahead. Okay. The ad. And um, may, may, may I ask? May I ask? Yeah, so here's what happens when you have an I and an A following it. In English, we add, we kind of pronounce it with a Y. May I ask? It's I may ask. May I ask? Yeah. Instead of saying may I ask, we say may I ask. We, okay. Yeah, I don't know why we do that, but we definitely do it. We definitely mm. add a Y in there for some reason. Yes. Sometimes I don't even know why we do things. And <laughs> may, may I ask? Yes. May I ask? Okay. Yeah. A cold, a cold day. Right. And that's one, one of those words where we move the syllable over. So instead of saying a cold day, because those two Ds, you break your tongue trying to say that all the time, a cold day. It's a cold day. It's like one, only one of the Ds gets pronounced. A cold day. Yep. Okay. Keep, uh, keep talking. Yes, yes. Keep 
uh, talking? Yeah, we say keep, keep talking. It's one word, really. It's keep not even talking. Yeah, keep okay. talking. Yeah. Okay, keep talking. Yep. Uh, for 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 an hour. Yes, and you, and that one is either for an or and. We don't say. Remember, I think the the um, yeah. the um, the example was, I never order fish and chips. I offer I order fish and chips. I completely for an right. Hour. You eliminate the an or and, and it's just the n sound for an hour. For an hour. Yep. For an hour. Okay. So that's very. So this, yeah. So this thing is uh, hard to me. It's for an hour. And uh, may I, may I yes, may I, may I yes? Right. So the the thing to remember is that, and and the reason, you know, and I bring I put this into the sessions, is yes. and I ask that when we have our conversations, like we did at the very beginning of the session, yes. is that. Sometimes I think people are concerned about the way they speak and they think that they, the way that things are written are how you speak. The truth of the matter is that we don't, we don't speak the way that words are written. And so if we were to read a play, for example, like actors, when they read the script, there are words written there. And you know what, if you look at a real script, the real script is the one that the actors are using is is written the way that connected speech is written they don't they don't write words the way you would see it in a textbook in mm. school it's written this way where instead of if the if the if the character is supposed to say keep talking the script actually is written the way it's written here keep talking with a T A W K I N, because that's how we speak, and they don't want the actors to get confused and start speaking in terms of how they read, right? So the yes. scripts are written the way people the way people speak, and and so it's it's important that you know that when you connect these words, it's actually it's correct to do that. And by the way, it helps your pronunciation immensely. So this is a good thing. No, it does. It helps everybody's pronunciation. Um, yeah. and, and it makes it easier to understand also. So mm -hmm. I'm going to skip the tongue twister. Uh, you know, all I want is a proper cup of coffee. And the reason is that that tongue twister is intended. Um, it's intended for connected speech. But it also has too many difficult sounds that we haven't pronounced yet. And I don't want... I don't want you to be focused on that. So I'm going to skip that one. And let's go, okay. let's go to the TH, because you had mentioned that before. So, yeah. Okay, so and the, the, T, the TH, right, there are two types of TH, right? There's the voiced one, which is like in the word the, right? So the TH is, right? You can hear the uh sound. And then you have the 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 one that's unvoiced which is nothing but air coming through like in throw right that one is the other one is right mm. so to make the th sound the, the tip of your tongue goes between your top teeth and your lower teeth and then you just blow air right so it's so on one you're making the uh sound, and on the other, you're not. So why don't you yes. try just making the sound? Th yes. So you, you make the sound correctly. Um, <clears throat> now, you know, and some, by the way, some people actually cannot pronounce T and TH. I'm sorry, the TH sounds, either one. And the reason for that, and I'm talking about native Chinese speakers, is this sound doesn't exist in Chinese. So mm -hmm. people that have never made this sound, and I believe me, I have, I have students that cannot make this sound at all. No, I'm serious, they <laughs> cannot, because their tongue won't go between their teeth. It, they just never had to do that, other than to stick their tongue out. And by the way, that's how I teach the sound. Stick your tongue out at me and bite it and blow air. Right, that's how you make it. 
<laughs> you stick your tongue out and you bite your tongue, not hard, and you make the sound. So, and eventually they get it. But you, you seem to be okay there. So let's just do some, uh, let's, this is the, the unvoiced sound, which means that you don't make that ah uh sound. It's just air going between uh, your teeth and your tongue. And let me get it over here. So just read this sentence, this line rather to me. Okay. Uh, sin, wrath, 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 mother, no, more. son, okay, most, south, south, thigh, thigh, thigh. Sign. Yep. Sign. Mm -hmm. Sign is right. Mm -hmm. Ruth. Truth. Well, it's Ruth. Truth. Ruth. 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 Truth. Right. Truth. Truth. Right. So you're making the the th sound correctly. It's you have to get used to the combinations, and that again, that's practice. And then try this line because this is going to be the voiced one, the one that you actually add the ah uh sound to. So it's weather. No, the. Let me copy and paste this for you. Okay, read that one. We weather. Loathe. 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 Yes. Loathe. Thing. Yes. Rise. 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 Size. Size. Rise. Yes. So th there's no difficulty there. Now here we're going to do. Pronounce is the th pronounce. I have no problem. But just read this word. I don't know. This word That's means. okay. Pronounce English, wrong. English is a crazy language to read because the words aren't spelled the way that you pronounce them. Like scythe, look at that word, S-C-Y-T-H-E. How yeah. would you know that that's pronounced scythe? You know, how would you know that? Nobody would know that, right? So yeah. we have words, I have no, I mean, when we're taught in school, that's why we have so many spelling tests in school and spe you know, all these contests in school when we're growing up because there's so many words like scythe, like, Come on, who's, who would know that, right? I wouldn't. And yeah. look at the word science, right? S-C-I-E-N-C-E, -E, right? Science. Well, how do you know that the C is silent in that word, but not silent in school, right? So it's, it's a difficult language to learn because there are so many words that aren't spelled the way that they're, they're pronounced. So let's try this set of words. And this set of words is gonna take you from, um, from voiced to unvoiced as you, as you pronounce the words. So start with then. Then, sign, die, die, straight, see, a thing, the, the, Sing there so thorn thorn now do me thor. a do me a favor on the 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 on the unvoiced th which is the second word blow a little more air and I'll tell you why because your pronunciation is so delicate that on that th sound it mm. it could if you're not careful, if you soften it a little less, a little bit more rather, it's going to come out as an S because your tongue oh. is going to get pulled back. So you want to keep your tongue out there and blow a little bit more air. So when you say thigh, you actually say thigh. You hear the air coming through thigh. Sigh. Yeah. Sigh. Sigh. No. Thigh. Thigh. Stick that tongue out. Thigh. 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 Your tongue is between the top teeth and your lower teeth. Thigh. So the word is the T-H-Y is right. T-H-Y. Oh, which word are you doing? Wait a minute. Maybe that's what they can do. 
I'm on yeah, the yeah. I'm on the second line. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm on the first line. After yes. Then. So I'm saying then and thigh. Okay. Then and the sign. Thigh. Fine. You're saying fine. It's oh, thigh. It's the thigh. tongue. Sign. Yeah, the teeth and the tongue make this sound completely. The lips have nothing to do with this. So it's thigh. So the tongue is between the top teeth and the lower, and you're blowing air through it. Thigh. Thigh. Yes. Thigh. 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 No. Thigh. Don't worry about Don't say any ends in there. We're just saying T-H. Let's just say T-H-I. Thigh. 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 Yes. Exactly. Thigh. Exactly, okay. exactly. The way you see how your tongue came out between yeah. your teeth, it's almost as if you were biting it, but don't bite it, right? So you're saying thigh. 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 Yes, so get that tongue out and it's thigh. Okay, thigh. so go, go through all of the words and in every one of these, make sure your tongue comes out and you're blowing the air and in the voiced ones, you're blowing the air and making the uh sound. Yes. <coughs> Thigh. Which, which, start from the very beginning. Then. Then. Thigh. 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 Thigh, yeah. Thigh. 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 Through. Thread. 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 Thin. Yeah. Thin. Mm -hmm. There. So. So. Thorn. So. Thorn. Thorn. Yeah. Thorn. They are. There. They'll. They, there. Yeah. Thin. Breeze. Psych. Thug is right. Thug, yeah. Thug, thug, thug. Okay. Mm, hard to. Okay, this one is bre breather. Breather. Which word? Oh, breather. Yeah. Okay. Breather. Mm -hmm. Breather. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And when you, by the way, when you look at the video and you look at that word, you're going to see what I'm talking about. Your tongue comes between and you're saying breather, breather, right? So that's very good. Breather. Breather. Yes, very good. Um, now we go to both. 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 Which words? Both. B O T H. B O T H. Both. Right. Both. Both. Your tongue actually comes through your teeth. It's both. Uh, both. Yeah. Both. Okay. Yeah, I find it's a with the s right. A little similar. But that's because the T H sound doesn't exist in Chinese, so you've never really had to make it. But in this case, because we're doing English, you have to force your tongue to extend through your teeth. So it's both. Your tongue is coming out. Yeah. And now, if you were both. To, yes. Both. Yes. I both. want you to look at the video and you'll see how perfect that is. Both. Both. Yes. And now try it with Heather and death. Heather. And the death. Beautiful. Try it again. Heather and the death. Death. Tongue has death. To come out. Tongue has to come out. Death. 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 Yes. Death. That's it. Death. I just think the the, the words. Uh, I think it's don't know that the words is right. I can't remember. Okay. This word, so which is, uh, which is uh, right? I know. Believe me, I know that part. Yeah, that's this, yeah. This is a big problem. That is a big uh, because in English, again, you don't 
pronounce the words the way they're spelled all the time. And then you have confusion like this, what's voiced and what's not voiced, right? So you kind of have to play with the word until you get it right or wrong and somebody will look at you, you know, but um, if you practice. But, I, but, but earlier, if I let words, I can't, I can't make sure it's right pronounce. I will search right. the dictionary then to read the Right. Right. You'll then see. You'll see. With use the many times where I'll be remember to how to pronounce. Yeah. Right. Because the the voiced one, which is the th sound, is is kind of like an ups. It's like almost an upside down e, and it has a line through it when you look in the dictionary, and that yes. means you actually voice it. The unvoiced sound is like the letter O with a dash in it. And that's how, when, when you're looking yes. at the dictionary, you know which one is which. Yeah. So let's just do a couple of, um, I wanted to do this because this, um, these minimal pairs, what minimal pairs do, and by the way, we're going to go through this in the, in the next session anyway, uh, because we yeah. kind of run out of time, but I want to, yes. I want you to at least go through these minimal pairs. Uh, so that you'll see what I'm talking about. When min in minimal pairs, the only difference is that one sound, and that one sound can change, right, can change the meaning of the word. So the first one <clears throat> is three versus free. So if you make a, a mispronunciation there and you say, uh, you know, I want to go to free stores, people are going to think that you don't want to pay. <clears throat> versus mm, yeah. say it correctly, I want to go to three stores, they will know that you want to go to first this one, then that one, and then that one. So let's go through these three, I'm sorry, these three, uh, through these five sets. Okay. I just want to hear you pronounce them. And then we'll do, I want to do one more sentence. But go ahead. Okay. Words. Okay. Three, three, four. Soy. Sore. Both. Sore. First, the it's a sore. Thor. 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 Oh, let me see. Your tongue goes Thor. Oh, uh, Thor. Yes. Thor. Okay. Thor. Uh huh. So worse is worse is right. Yeah. Thor. Thor. Yes. Thor. Thor. Then Thor. Correct. Now, did you feel the difference between Thor and sore? Thor, yes. That the sore, your tongue doesn't come out, right? Yeah. It just touches. It just, like, it, it's sore. just coming out a little. It's not coming, it's not touching anything. It's just air going over your tongue through your teeth on sore, right? You're, you're curling yes. your tongue like that. Sore inside your mouth, though. Thor, yes. your tongue actually comes out, right? And yeah. you almost bite yeah. your tongue. So you don't want to you don't want to eat and call for your friend Thor because if you're biting down on a piece of steak and your friend see your friend Thor, you're gonna bite your tongue off. So it's Thor versus mm. Thor. Okay. Okay. So why don't you can yes. Thor. Right. And now what's the next two? Both. Boat. Yep. Uh, tau. Tor. Tor. Sore. Yep. Freed. Frill. Frill. Freed. Frilled. Frilled. That's an L. Yeah, it's a tough Fri one. Frill. Yeah. Freed. Frilled. Freed. Ulled. Ulled. Say it's L sound. Freed. Freeard. 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 Yes. Yeah, that's a tough word. Frilled. Freeard. Frilled. Frilled. Not freeard. You're going to an R. Yeah. You're going to an L. <laughs> Freeard. Freeard. Try Freeard. killed and thrilled. Killed. 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 Say just the, say, just say the word kill. Here. Kill. Here. Kill. Here. I'm gonna kill you. Say that word. I gonna kill you. Kill. 
Kill, kill. kill. Go to the la 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 if you have to. Kill la 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 la. Keared. La 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 la. Keared. Kill. That tongue. La 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 la. Okay, so here's, here's what's happening on that. When you say keared, your tongue isn't going out far enough to touch the back of your teeth. Touch the back of your te teeth on those L's on, in killed. 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 But mountain. Killed. But, yeah, but you have to say the uh sound. So it's oh, oh, oh. Ah, ah, ah. The tongue uh. has, the to your tongue isn't touching. Your tongue isn't touching. Touch the back of your teeth at the ridge up yeah. here. That's how yeah. you make the L, remember? Oh, that's it. Uh, oh, uh, say uh, oh. Uh, Yes, that's an L. You're making uh, an L sound. Uh, L sound. Uh, yeah. uh, oh. uh, that's an L. That's uh, an L. Uh, right. Uh, so uh, as, uh, yeah, we're going to have to work on the killed IL sound. <laughs> Because I can, I can hear you having difficulty, and it's the same difficulty you have with the L-I sound. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm not surprised. That, uh, well, your tongue uh, isn't coming out uh, to touch your teeth, right? So remember uh, the, the example where an R, you curl, right? But an yeah. L, you reach out to touch. So what you're doing is you, you're saying, cured, but instead of killed, right? Oops, the other way around. Instead of saying, Killed, you're saying cured. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you want to say killed. You want to reach okay. out with your tongue. Kill. Cured. A cured. 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 Kill. Cured. Just go to the L. Kill. Cured. And I, I understand that you are telling me that I ended the words to seem like a rock. Rawr. Right, that's what should it sounds it be, like. Should it be, should it be the times uh, just Correct. Key, Correct. Key, cured, cured. Right, key. so this is something that you're going to have to practice getting your tongue to reach out, right? right? Yeah. I mean, because this, this, this is a very difficult sound for you, but we will fix that. We will, we will yeah, yeah. get done next week. It's better than before. <laughs> I, I, I've already written it down, so it's like frilled. I have to write the whole world. <laughs> Word, right? I know. Night. Right? And I. Night. Of course, night. Now, night. Yeah. Night. And then now what I'm going to do. Night. 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 Yes. And now what I'm going to do is come up with every word I can find. Cue. <laughs> Cue. Yeah. All right. So let's yeah. try. Let's try this one tongue twisters and then. Um, let yes. Me find one. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Sorry about this. Um, Okay, so let's do this, and okay, go ahead. The 33 servers thought that they are thread the throat out, out Thursday. Okay, so not one of those was pronounced correctly, because your tongue never came out. Watch the video when you did, when you, yes, when you watch the video, you will see the 30, that tongue almost stays out throughout the sentence because there's so many THs, right? The 30 thieves thought that they thrilled the throne throughout Thursday. My tongue almost stays out the whole time. <laughs> watch it, watch it again. Watch it. I'm going to try to angle my desktop so that you can actually see it. So it's, the 30, okay, watch, the, watch the video, I'm sorry, watch the screen. The 30 thieves thought they thrilled the throne throughout Thursday. Okay. Okay, now think of, think of when you're working in the dentist's office, how, how many times the dentist has to actually, you know, dab your, dab your lips because your, your saliva is coming out, right? So that's what's happening here because you're going to be saying the thrill and that you're just going to continue making that sound, right? Yeah, I know. So okay. good luck on that. So let's try one more time. The 30. Uh, the very 30, nice. Very nice. Very, you said the 30 straight source through a suit. 
thought that the thread, the throw, uh, throw out the sustain. Sorry. And the, now you know, the, I'm, I'm more interested in the TH sound and you got them all right this time. So it's, it's really just being aware of it. Just being aware of that TH sound because you got them all right. But if, when you watch the video, you will see your tongue on every one of them. It's the 33 themes, right? So yeah. let's just try it one more time. And emphasize that th. The thirty three third thieves. Third thieves. Th thieves. Okay, okay. Thieves. Thieves. So thieves. Thieves. Uh huh. Thieves. Yes. Thieves. Thought. Thought that the three three the straw straw. Throw. throw out, throw, throw, throw out, Thursday, 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 very good, Thursday, yes, because the first one is the TH and then you have the S towards the end, but this, but this is sensitive when you feel so, so strange, when you are pronounced that, the, yeah. the tongue outside is yeah. yes because you're not used to it so i don't even think about it when i pronounce even when i just said think i don't even think about it i just pronounce the th you know so you will get to that point through practice okay and, yeah, practice. and you you will see that you're not even going to think about it anymore you're just going to say it and it's going to it's you're going to feel really good when you don't even have to think <laughs> it's it, you just talk that's conversation. Right. Yeah, if you are not correct me about this, thing, I will to pronounce this uh, the the tongue or inside, not outside. Right, and that yeah. becomes an S, right? Yeah. So that's what we have to be careful with. So yeah, this is important. Since, yeah. So I will have. I think I'll, I think I pronounce and it's right, but when I pronounce this sentence, I will feel okay. I have. And that's about and this. that's the important part is that. You know, we, we, if you don't get this feedback right away, you're, gonna, yeah. you're not going to realize that you're pronouncing it incorrectly because in your mind, you're pronouncing it correctly, right? Yes. Uh, it's like, uh, I, I, I you always use the same example. People think that by watching TV, you can learn yeah. to speak English. By watching TV, you may understand the language, but you'll never speak it because what you think and what your mouth forms aren't necessarily the same thing unless it's corrected immediately because yeah. what happens is then you start to practice the wrong pronunciation and that's what becomes normal or not yes versus practicing the correct pronunciation so that's and sometimes that's even harder right because that's not what your mind is thinking you're doing so it's it's practice 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 so yes i will send you this video you should have today I'll send you the practice sessions. We are going to go through the THs again. And we're going to, of course, hit light. La, 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 light. And we're going to practice everything until it's Because yeah. you, you don't have that many difficulties, but the ones that we have, we're going to fix. All righty? Yeah. I will see you on Thursday morning. And yeah. we'll practicing, and I'll send you the video in the practice session. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And then, yeah. Bye -bye. Now, yeah, excuse me, my team. Now, I'm that yeah, you are told, you are said, uh, you said that problem, yeah, I find it because now I list, I learn, I study English, I just watch the radio, the tent, then to listening and practice the, the sentence. Then, yeah, if right. I, I can't find that I have pronounced the problem. Correct. That's the problem. Yes. Right. Is that you know something you'll you'll actually learn to understand the language right through mm -hmm. listening to it but it, it it's the speaking part i mean obviously that you know in conversation you have to both listen and speak so you'll be able to understand what the other person is saying but if you're if you're not pronoun pronouncing your words correctly then yes. um i could tell you in business when i would listen to somebody uh who's not a native speaker it was very distracting when I'm in a meeting and I'm listening to somebody's presentation.
because I'm focused on what are they trying to say versus what are they trying to say, right? It's two different things. What is their meaning and what are the words they're trying to get out? So it's a distraction that you really don't want. Um, I have another English problem is I think my grandma is so simple. It's just use the, But that's so mine. That's so mine, by the way. I believe in simplicity. I believe if I can tell you something in three words, I don't have to tell you something in 20 words, right? So my grammar, I believe in short and to the point, right? I mean, that's okay. the important thing. The more simple you can keep uh, an explanation, for example, the more easy it is for somebody else to understand you. It's when you start okay. to complicate it with big words and, and, you know, all of these complicated thoughts. No, if, you know what, if you want to tell me the sky is blue, tell me that the sky is blue. Don't tell me about the prism and how light goes through you know, the atmosphere and changes and, and how this is just a certain se segment of color coming through. No, just tell me it's blue. I'm good, I'm good with that, right? That's but, but I understand, but I was thinking, why other people can describe so many words? I just use the simple words. I think I, I guess, should guess end who, the... Guess who I want to listen to? Do I want to listen to them or do I want to listen? <laughs> I want to listen to you because you're going to tell me something and I'm going to understand it right away versus giving me this long explanation that goes on and on and on. And then I already forgot what you said at the beginning of the explanation. <laughs> so, long. so, yeah, I believe so, in getting to the point. Yeah. But that's also making my, I feel uncomfortable, uncom uncomfortable to feel my English. So I'm I always I don't think my English is not good. I think I need to learn more, more, more. But well, you yeah. have you have to pr you have to practice, right? It's yeah. it's more so, and practice the correct pronunciation. I don't. I think I can understand you, so that's communication. So the important thing is, um, it's it's not just you know communicate because I understand you. But now yes, what happens to the next person? Will the next person understand you? That's why you want to eliminate as many distractions in speech as possible, right? Yeah. You don't want to say, you know, I'm, I'm, when I get to the red night, because people are gonna go, what? what? What does that mean, right? Versus when I get to the red light, I'll make a left turn, right? So now I know when I get to the red light, I make a left turn versus when I get to the red night, if, you, if you're mispronouncing that N and L, it's confusing, it's a distraction. Yeah. Eliminate yeah. the distractions, that's pronunciation. And, yeah. and that's where you're getting, you're getting to the point where you're eliminating those. And there's so many that we're gonna, we have still to cover. I mean, we're, we focused on the R, L, and N, and now the yeah. H's, but diphthongs create a problem, that's that ow, O, you know, the different vowel sounds. The A, which is, you know, the I, you know, those sounds. Yeah. These are difficult sounds, and they can be distracting or confusing if you don't use them properly. But um, I don't think you're going to have that much trouble with those. I think right now, because those are common sounds in, in Chinese, so your mouth is used to the formation. That's not, that's, it's, it's how you, you know, it's really understanding how to read English and, and speaking in English. That's the... That's the only difficulty in pronunciation of those types of sounds. But the L sound, the N sound, the TH, these are sounds that aren't common in Chinese. So as a, okay. a non-native English speaker, your mouth isn't used to forming it. So we're, that's what we're doing. We're working on, first of all, I'm teaching you how to form it so that you'll remember. Yeah. And secondly, then we practice it. And then we put yes. it into sentences, and hopefully we'll put it into our conversations at the beginning of each session, like today when you described a movie. And it was yeah. La La Land. So I thought that was a great, great choice. So uh, this is how we're progressing. And that, I believe that that's why you've progressed, as because really this was only the third session. And when you look at, compare it to the first session between L and N, this is, this is 
I mean, you have gotten it down. Now it's a matter of, you know, making it part of your language versus having to think about it. We'll get there. Right now, we're just, okay. right now we're just pronouncing it, okay? Yeah. All right. Okay, so thank you. I will thank see you, you Thursday. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you.